What's up, y'all? We're gonna be installing some beautiful Grizzly tires today on the Super 73 ZX. So make sure to hit that subscribe button and stay tuned for some more rad content in today's Rad City video. Hey, Happy New Year's. Hope you all had a great New Year's celebration. In today's video, we'll be installing some beautiful Grizzly tires on this first video of the year, 2022. So let's get on to today's show, installing these beautiful Grizzly tires. Hey, welcome to a new episode of Red City Berlin. Thank you so much for checking out today's episode. Today we're back out here at the Kraftwerk with the Super 73 ZX out here in Berlin. We're gonna to install today the beautiful Grizzly tires like we said last week uh, in the video that we did with the quad lock install. Really nice, fun install. But in today's video, we're gonna go ahead and do some major mods and throw on some beautiful Grizzly tires here on the Super 73 ZX. So let's go ahead and bring them down here. Show you guys these beautiful Grizzly tires. Awesome, so beautiful Grizzly tires. Really nice 20 by four inch wide tires. Um, really beautiful tires. Um, they have a really nice tread pattern. They have then the whole uh, Super 73 logo on the tires. Really nice four and a half inch wide tires. So we're going to throw these onto the Super 73 today. See how that looks. It's not snowing yet. It's right now just raining outside, but I'm looking forward to getting this Super 73 all ready for like the snow and getting it ready for like the whole winter time. So let's go ahead and get these Grizzly tires onto the Super 73 ZX today here in Red City of Berlin. Thank you guys so much for checking out the video so far. Installing here the Grizzly tire on the Super 73 ZX. I got this new Rode Wireless Go uh, 2 wireless microphone. Really, really nice, awesome, high quality microphone. Testing it out today for our first video of the year 2022. So thank you so much for checking out the video so far. Getting here the Grizzly tire installed. Uh, forgot to turn on the microphone, but all good. Just one minute real quick of uh, voiceover. Uh, just to kind of explain what's going on. Uh, just um, removing here the rear tire first from the Super 73 ZX. We just, you know, we start first with like the hardest part. We start with like the rear, getting the uh, rear tire taken off of the Super 73 ZX. Then they're just using here a rubber mallet to then separate the tire uh, from the dropout. Really easy process. And then just lifting the bike up off of the tire. But this beautiful wench, it's like made for motorcycles, so it's more than heavy enough to then hold the ZX, so I don't need to worry about it falling on my head. But all good, the bike is now separated then from the rear tire. So first step is then to remove the air from the inner tube, so that way then we can separate the tire from the rim. Super simple process, just laying the rim down at like a 45 degree angle, and then just pressing down on one side, like towards the ground. Uh, once you have enough air out of the inner tube so that then it pops off from the rim and a super simple uh, process taking off the uh, taking off the tire separating the whole rim here from the, the uh, tire so super simple process just leaving the inner tube onto the rim make sure that it has enough air let out so that then you can put it back on together with then the new grizzly tire here so really nice grizzly tire but then the whole super 73 logo on the tread pattern really nice if you have grizzly tires on your bike leave a comment below and let me know but yeah, really easy super simple process here to install the grizzly tires on the super 73 zx so please hit that subscribe button and let's jump over to the rest of the video with the audio here from the road wireless 2 mic and uh enjoy the rest of the show quick update so i tried to install the tire slime 
I realized I didn't have the core remover so I can inject the uh, tire slime properly. So I just went ahead and left it off for right now. So we'll go ahead and put back on some air, throw this thing onto the bike, okay? So I'll do the core, I'll do the, the uh, tire slime later. Just for right now, let's go ahead and throw this thing onto the bike. A super simple process. No stuff of tools or tires. I'm just doing it here with my hands. So I'm wearing gloves to protect my hands. It's a good recommendation. Wear some gloves. These have good extra grippy palms. So that provides me with an extra grip so I can hold on to like the rim and the tire easier. Careful here. Go around the chain. That is one of the pitfalls of uh, doing this all by myself, doing all the mods by myself, all the wrenching by myself, the, the video, the audio, editing. 100% independent YouTube channel here doing Super 73 Electric Lifestyle every week here in Rad City, Berlin. So please hit that subscribe button and let's jump over to the rest of the video with the audio here from the Rode Wireless 2 mic. So for this side here, basically, we need to take our safe, our security screw, put that on there first, anti-theft. Yeah. You gotta be mindful because these are all different sizes. So you have left and right, exactly left and right, perfect. So. That's the only thing really you gotta be mindful of is to make sure that you're putting on the right size. <clears throat> and the left side is larger than the right side. When you're putting on the titanium screw like I just did there, you should go on there really easy by hand. Okay, so everything should go on there super easy by hand. And then basically use your napkin again to protect it and then torque it down. Boom, let's go and do this side now. Fairly simple. Back tire is gonna be the most difficult. But as long as you're mindful of the washers and the positioning and the different sizes, I'm ready for like the different sizes of the axle washers here, of the axle nuts back here, should be good to go. <clears throat> if you want to do the tire sealant, make sure they have like a core remover for the inner tube, which I don't have today, we'll do that in a future video. So that should be good for right now. Let's go ahead and see. All right, cool. So we got now the tire on here, looking pretty good. I'm gonna put some more air on it in a second, but let's go ahead and connect our app to the bike. I just wanna double check that it's gonna work. That basically I can turn the tire within the throttle at least. So let's go ahead and connect then the ZX to the app. There it is, all right. Okay, thank you very much, I appreciate it. Thanks. I'll give it back to you. Yeah. Thank you. I appreciate that. Um, there are um, caps mm -hmm. for the valves that have this top bit included. Yeah. yeah. Those are awesome. Okay. Unfortunately, I don't have them in my box. I gotta double check, okay, yeah. Maybe it's on the injector, possibly. But thank you, I'll, I'll double check, thank you. Yeah. They're gonna be here for a while. Awesome, he just gave me a valve, valve core remover. That's awesome. Best thing about craft work, if you need help, people will give you a hand, it's pretty dope. So now we can definitely put in our injector, but first let's go ahead and connect now our mode four. So, let, so let's just double check. Let's go ahead and raise the bike some. All right, so first check. Ah, okay. <clears throat> Turn this thing off. 
I forgot one important thing. Let's go ahead and connect our motor. <laughs> Here. I forgot to connect the motor. That's going to be helpful. So let's go ahead and get the motor here connected. I disconnected, turn off the back of the bike now. We can go ahead now and connect the motor. It's obviously important in order to get power. <clears throat> Perfect. All right, so now, now we got power. Let's go ahead and turn on the bike. All right, so bike is now turned on. Check. All right, so now we have the power connected to the ZX wonder bar. Let's go ahead and connect the bike now. It's now connected. So let's go ahead and put on mode four, mode four, boom. So now the back tire should turn on us. Let's go ahead and give it a whirl. <clears throat> Perfecto. 42 com ha. Nice. And rear brake. Rear brake's working. Good to go, good to go. All right, so can we pedal? No, <laughs> so let's try to pedal. Cool. So real quick, midway check real quick. We have now the rear tire set up more or less. We need to put in air in the rear tire. I need to adjust the chain and as well too the whole derailleur. But we'll go ahead and move on now to the front and go and get the front grizzly on so we can see how the bike looks within the front and rear and also throw in some tire sealant inside the tires. So let's go ahead and finish up this grizzly install here on the Super 73 ZX. So let's go ahead and remove the rear tire. So, go ahead and remove now the front tire. What size is this? Size 15. Okay. All right, perfect. So now we have the front tire taken off of the Super 73 ZX. Super easy, two 15 millimeter screws. Super easy, pop this thing off. I probably could have made it a little bit easier by removing some air from the tire first, but it was fine. I was able to get it off, getting around the rear, getting around the front caliper there, but it's fine. So now we have it off. Grizzly tire is ready. Let's go ahead and remove some air. Just a real quick pro tip. If you're going to install this on your S2 or your RX, make sure you contact Super 73 to ask them for the special five inch rear tire, right? These are four and a half inch. So they've got the same four and a half inch front and, front and rear. But if you do plan on installing, on, uh, but if you do plan on, if you do plan on installing these Grizzly tires on your S2 RX, just contact Super 73 uh, customer support and let them know that you want to get the five inch tire than for the RX, all right? Special, special version. I have no idea if they're in stock. And if not, you can still put on the four and a half inch uh, rear, but I would recommend trying to find the five inch wide rear tire then for the Grizzlies, right? For your RX or your S2 here in the EU. But for the ZX, the, the four and a half is perfect. Rain is stopping. How's the wireless microphone? I wonder if it sounds any better for y'all. Makes it easier for me to work now so I don't need to wear my helmet all the time. Still wear a face mask because it's also face mask regulations here in craft work. Cool, so let's go ahead and see now if we can pop it off. I'll go ahead and keep the rotor in the front. There. What I find is if you just press down, boom. If you press down, it comes right off. That's all you gotta do is basically press down on the tire and it comes right off. Okay. Make sure it's removed there. And then basically we can remove one side first. Don't need any tools, I can just do it with my hand. 
nice and easy. So oh, that's off on one side. Now we're gonna remove it here. Now we have the front. Now we have the front tire taken off, looking good. All right, now we have the rubber taken off. Now we're just taking off a little bit of air. So that way then we can put in the Grizzly inner tube easier. Okay, that's now done there. Let's go ahead and switch this up here. All right, so basically let's go ahead and reverse the process here. Put in our inner tube. Let's start with one side. Boom, okay, it's on there. So let's just turn some air, throw it back on the bike. Looking good, looking good. All right, so, gonna throw in some air. So we have it on here now. It's going to take off the core and we'll go ahead and put in some tire slime. you don't lose your core. And let's go ahead and get some tire sealant. Go ahead and put this on here. Okay. 
I'm gonna pump this in here. Oh yeah. Try to shoot it in there. So we put like a half a cup, just gonna put some more in there. Let's put in some more. Oh yeah, got about, about, a, about an injector and a half in there, in the front. That should be fine. Okay. I have this nifty core remover, core installer. Use them to install the core back into it. Okay, put the core back in there. So then the ceiling doesn't come dripping out. Perfect. And then now with the core tire ceiling in there, let's go ahead and make sure it's nice and Okay, so let's go ahead and put in some more air. I'm just gonna pump it up. And this will make it nice and sealed then for punctures, any sort of other palms. Give it a nice love tap. The inner tube is in there nice and correctly. So let's go ahead and take this off real quick. I got my charger in case I need to charge, charge it. Let's go ahead and And make sure that our ceiling is getting in there nice and proper. Take the ceiling up here off the ground. Okay. All right. All right. Should be good. Basically, what they say is when you put in sealant, put in the sealant, put in the air. Before you put in the bike, let's go ahead and just let it settle for a second. While I'm doing that, let me go ahead and do the rear while we have it off. Let's go ahead and grab this. Okay, so we have now our core taken out. What we can do, basically we want to lean the bike a little bit down. Kick up the kickstand. Good, what we'll do then. Okay, so nothing's touching. We don't have our forks touching the ground there. It's fine. Use this lizard tire as a kind of prop. There we go. This you can also lean up on the tire here. It's fine. That's good. So let's go ahead now and uh, put some injector in here. Now that we have the core taken off. Look at that, nice satisfying sound of getting the ceiling in there. Beautiful. Okay, done. First injection, let's go and get some more. Okay, second injection. Injected. Beautiful. Tire sealant done. 
front and back. Okay, so it's, it's in there. Let's go ahead and put back on our core. And then we can close this up. Core is now back in there. It won't go anywhere. Looking good. Cleaned up all the spritz. We're looking good. We're looking good. Sealant's on there. Let's go ahead and get some air in there. Cool, so now we have the back tire put on, connected, put on the bike, tire seal now put on the bike, air put in the tire, connected to the app. Let's go ahead and connect the app. I just wanna get the bike turning a little bit, the rear tire turning, so we can get the tire sealant all everywhere inside the tire properly. All right, let's see. Where are we at now? Let's go ahead and Get that tire seal nice and up in there. Looks good, feels good, perfect. So that's good. Let's go and check our tire pressure again now. Let's see where we're at now with the tire pressure. Let's check it out real quick. Cool, motor's working, brakes are working. It's a good sign. Let's go ahead and check my tire pressure again here. But for some reason, this is not gauging correctly. It feels like it's 20 PSI or more. It still says 10 PSI. Real quick, uh, right now we have the rear tire, front tire now injected with the stands tire sealant. Really nice, I'll leave the link below. I have some air in both tires. I need to charge up my my battery, I need to charge up the tire inflator. It is running low on battery. So what we'll do is I'll let my front tire settle for like 15 minutes with the tire sealant, charge up the uh, battery for the tire, uh, for like the tire inflator. And also then we'll grab the ZX battery and probably put it also on the, to the charger. So, so I'll catch up with you guys in a few minutes. Once everything gets charged a little bit, then we'll go ahead and continue. Nice guys, done. Super 73 Grizzly tires install finished. We got now the front installed. I don't know how much we got that on camera. The other camera was kind of not working correctly when we got that installed, but that's good to go now. So the front tire is now installed. We do need to get the whole chain adjusted as well too. The whole derailleur really needs to be adjusted as well too. So I need to get the bike checked out as well too, but so far it's looking good. The rear, it's all filled out like the whole flow carbon, fenders, the brakes all working beautifully, okay? So it's working fine, it's looking good. Front, super simple install, two 15 millimeter screws, done. Really good to go. The brakes are working great. Everything looks good. I think the Grizzly tires look great. What do you all think of the, the Grizzly tires? I think, I think it looks better than the Lizard tires. So for sure, as soon as it snows here in Berlin, we'll be able to get this thing out onto the road and check it out see how it feels. Right now it's pitch black outside. So we're not gonna take it out today in today's video, but definitely in the next video, be on the lookout for a Super 73 ZX ride video with these grizzly tires, plus as well too, getting everything adjusted, buttoned down and sorted. We'll just leave the bike here for right now. It's good to go. In the next week's video, 
we'll do some more tuning and adjustments on the whole ZX. So hope you guys enjoyed today's video. If you're new to Rad City Berlin, thank you for checking out today's video. We do Super 73 electric lifestyle content every week here on Rad City Berlin. If you're a returning subscriber, thank you for returning. I really appreciate all the love and support. This is the first episode of the year, 2022. So I really appreciate everybody coming along for the journey. We made it through 2021, so awesome. Hope everybody had a great New Year celebration. Hope everybody enjoyed today's video. I'll see you guys again real soon. This is Rad City, I'm out.